Hello everyone, now welcome back to the new Game Note episode, and now we're going to talk about top 5 expensive and non-expensive NES games that I own. So let's begin with the expensive one, because you don't feel like going for the cheap ones first. And yeah, let's begin with... Number 5 Shadow of the Ninja is a really fun NES game where you can play as both male or female and this game is a really awesome ninja game if you love Ninja Gaiden I highly recommend this game now it's not similar to Ninja Gaiden in fact it's its own game but this game is really awesome and I got it for 60 bucks number 4 Tension Tetris now this game is the much I mean, the very much better version of Tetris. And also, uh, the graphics in this game, I kind of find it a bit watered down version from the NES port. I perform the graphics in the NES port, but this game is awesome. And I got it for 70 bucks. Number 3 Take Mega Man, but make him a girl? You got the Crayon Conquest. Now, this game is really fun. Highly enjoyable, and if you love Mega Man, I highly recommend getting this game. And I got it for seventy dollars as well. Number two, Metal Storm. Now, if you guys did see my Game Nerd Hidden Gems video, I would throw a brief it up. A game where you can flip your astronaut robot upside down on walking on the ceiling, and that's kind of it to say any brief way. This game is awesome and I got it for 120 bucks. Number one. Now recently I got in a new hidden gem that is much more money than Metal Storm, but I got this for free because it was my birthday. And also uh, this game cost I believe like $150 or maybe 300 not exactly too sure, but I find it like the true sequel to Bubble Bobble, Snow Brothers. One of the best, I repeat, best Capcom hidden gem game, period. It's very fun, highly enjoyable, and if you love Bubble Bobble and want to uh, play as a, a new character type, and whatever different controls this game is recommend for you or you can play bubble bottle too either one is fine i kind of recommend this one more and i don't own bubble bottle too but this one i believe is a bit better so yeah now we're going to the non expensive nes zone now before we start i want to do a quick honorable mention and they are tetris and also super mario bros so let's start off with number five Secrets All of the Flying Dragon. Now this game is like Kung Fu in its way, but it is a visual. The controls is just Kung Fu. But this game is actually fun and worth playing. And I got it for seven bucks. So yay me. Number four. We got two games at number four, and they're the, almost the same game. And I got them both for five bucks, and they are the Wheel of Fortune games. Now, I believe all of the Wheel of Fortune games for the NES are five bucks, but I kind of perform the Family Edition one by far, and these are the only two Wheel of Fortune games, but they are enjoyable and worth recommending. Number three. Now, uh, this game is, I don't know where to put it, at type of game, and it is the Boom, the Sixth Sense. Now, this game, I got it for four bucks, and this game is not a NES game. In fact, it does not deserve a NES game. In fact, you can just pass this game, but if you want your fortune told, highly recommend it. Number two, Axis. Now this game is pretty much like Legendary Axe almost, but put into a NES game and change it up a bit, and you got this game now. It's been a while till I play this, but 
I need to say it's a good game and this might be in another Hidden Gems video. And also I got it for full bucks. Number one. Now all of these NES games cannot be the number one. Why? This game costs one freaking cent. One freaking cent. I need to say the best Hidden Gems video. And also this also appear on Game Nerd episode one. My very first one that I might remaster. And it is Rescue the Embassy mission. And yes, I got in the embassy right this time. This game is really good. And if you like Science O mixed with Gold 13 and Metal Gear, this game is fun. I need to say this has to be the best cheap hidden gems besides of the other ones. And there might be an even more hidden gems video. I hope you guys like this and I might do another one just like this in the future and also there might be a even more hidden gems for you. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and see you all later and bye bye!